Okay, you're given the equation of this ellipse right here and asked to do this stuff. So here's the equation repeated. To find dy dx, we'll use implicit differentiation. So we have to use the product rule here, which yields these two terms. Uh, leave the terms with y prime on the left side, factoring out the y prime. Take the other two terms to the right side of the equal sign, and then divide by the coefficient of y prime. There's your formula for y prime. By the way, here's the graph of that ellipse, and here are the horizontal tangent lines in blue, and the green tangent lines, vertical tangent lines. Uh, how do you find the horizontal tangents? Well, you want to know when does y prime equal zero. You picture putting this equal to zero. That's only going to equal zero when the numerator equals zero. And if you solve the numerator equals zero for y, you get y equals negative 2x. So if you plug negative 2x back into the original, wherever you see the letter y, you'll be able to find the x-coordinate where there are horizontal tangents. So that's what this is right here, substituting negative 2x wherever you see a y. We get 3x squared after you square this and combine similar terms equals 7, x squared equals 7 thirds, so x equals plus or minus the square root of 21 over 3 if you choose to rationalize the denominator. Otherwise, it's plus or minus the square root of 7 thirds. So, the, the points where we have horizontal tangents are at plus radical 21 over 3, and the y-coordinate is negative 2 times that value, negative 2 times the square root of 21 over and that's actually this point right here. Uh, if we plot negative square root of 21 over 3 for the x coordinate, then the y coordinate is this value right here. And just for emphasis, there's what those look like. Okay. Now to find the vertical tangent lines, I will take this it will not take this to completion it's the same idea vertical tangent lines occur where the first derivative is undefined and that happens when the denominator equals zero so if x plus 2y is equal to zero that happens when x equals negative 2y so we'll plug negative 2y in the original equation de definition for the ellipse and solve for y. Turns out it's very similar. You get 3y squared equals 7. So y equals plus or minus the square root of uh, 21 over 3. Plus or minus the square root of 21 over 3. Uh, multiply those values by negative 2 to get the corresponding x-coordinate. And that's what yields these points right here. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions on that, post a comment.